Live from his office, the Honorable Mayor of Vicksburg, George Flags. Mayor, how are you doing today? I'm great. You know, every time I come on the stage, I enjoy Honorable George Flag because they just call me George Flag around here. And, and probably sometimes just George. Uh, I take that too. <laughs> Whatever you can get some days, I think, is the best way to go, especially yes, when you're in elected mess, office. Just don't mess with my salary. I can take it. <laughs> See, I like that about you. I always have. You have a very practical outlook on life in general, and I think that has helped you uh, be the success that you have been as the mayor of Vicksburg. I really do. Well, thing I really believe that you should keep it simple and make it look easy. And those two things do kind of go together. Now, speaking of that, how are things going over in Vicksburg right now? Just give, give us the the thousand yard view here. Okay. I think we're doing great. I think we're still on a pathway to uh, prosperity and economic development like never before. We just uh, uh, end up with the collaboration with the governor's office, Tyson, and the Chamber of Commerce, Daz, and uh, the Board of Supervisors, uh, Dr. Holland, and I have got $61 million and, 50 jo- and expansion from Tyson, uh, 51 jobs. Uh, we uh, working with the uh, Department of Transportation Commission Simmons uh, to get some additional money for infrastructure. And uh, we got a couple more job announcements uh, and projects to announce. M City, which is that Innovative Technology Center, is on schedule to open uh, very soon. Uh, one floor of it. What we're going to do is open one floor and continue the construction on it. Uh, tourism is up uh, like never before. Uh, I think the hotel oxygen rate, oxygen rate is about 92 percent after the wow. last post COVID. Uh, casino taxes up, sales taxes up. I think we're doing good. It sounds like you're doing fantastic, and and that's a good thing to hear. And we're kind of hearing that story to to varying degrees around the state. Because I think we have reached the point in the pandemic where some some people, a significant number of people, have a lot more confidence in getting out and going about their business and a lot of pent-up demand for it, I think. And, and that those numbers that you were saying reflect that. Right. Absolutely. And in Vicksburg, you know, we uh, removed the mandate of any type of uh, uh, mask requirement. We just asked folks to take uh, self uh take it upon themselves to be more responsible for the COVID by taking the vaccine and at the same time uh, practice social distancing where you can. And I think it's working. It's even working in our workforce. Uh, we uh, average about three or four out of 400 and some employees uh, testing positive. And so we, we're doing real good with that. Uh, so I think uh, we're on our way. Uh, we're confident that uh, if you take the, the vaccine and you do all the things that the federal government and the state, Dr. Dobbs and uh, his team has asked us to do, uh, I think we're okay. Uh, we're moving on uh, uh, because we just believe that uh, we cannot afford to shut down this economy because uh, of this, uh, this uh, COVID uh, virus. Well, let's be honest. We tried that last year. That didn't work. That didn't work economically, and it didn't work in terms of controlling the virus. So it's just from evidence not the right way to go anyway. Well, we learn from it. Uh, As I tell people all the time, we learn from our – you should learn from your pain. And that was a painful experience for us. But at the same time, uh, now we know what to do uh, when there's a pandemic uh, in the future. Uh, because this one caught us by surprise, but uh, uh, regardless of how you criticize the governor uh, and uh, other people of the state, I think Mississippi did real good. We was able to get a $3 million grant from the federal government to help uh, increase the number of African Americans that uh, are taking the vaccine. Uh, we are working with every organization, every church um, that's available to make certain that we get those numbers. We're working with uh, not only Vicksburg, but Hines County and other areas. I, I think we're seeing the results. Um, we just need to keep doing what we're doing by all means. Uh, don't, we still don't need to uh, let our guards down or take this virus uh, lightly uh, because uh, as we've been, been informed, there's another wave coming. But I think we're doing all we can do 
uh, humanly possible. And from a government standpoint, uh, uh, to get get us on our way, we don't want government to live in our personal lives. That's the worst thing that could happen. Yeah, I I think you're exactly right on that. Now, let me let me. Uh, well, before we switch topics, I haven't talked to you since this, uh, but you did actually have COVID, didn't you? Absolutely. And, don't and how did that go for you? Okay. Uh, well, I don't wish COVID on nobody, but please don't remind me uh, how I should have taken that shot a lot early. I didn't, and I paid for it. And out of pain, uh, you all have learned from my experience. So I'm one of the advocates. I'm a champion for taking the vaccine. Now, at the same time, I made a mistake. I admitted to it, and uh, hopefully I never make that one again. And, you know, you, you said that a minute ago and you said it just then, and I, I just want to expand it just a little bit because I feel like that's something that's missing right now on planet Earth. It's, it's not with any one group or any one country or anything. And that's the ability to pay attention and learn from your mistakes. That That's something that kind of made this country great to begin with. And we have let that kind of go by the wayside. It just feels to me, Mayor, and I, I don't know how we fix that. Well, I can't agree with you more uh, uh, than what you just said. It's going on. The best way to fix it is to hold public public politician or public elected official accountable. That's the best way to do it. And I stand to be accountable for all my action. I, I stand to be a uh, uh, transparent, uh, and that thing look what to do. We have to, uh, as we raise the expectation of politicians, we have to hold them accountable uh, when it comes to leading uh, people in our respective position as relates to government. Well, let me ask you this, because there's a lot of frustration out there, and I, I, I get the sense from the conversations I have that a lot of people don't don't they don't even know how to do that anymore As, aside from election day which sometimes goes your way and sometimes doesn't uh how do you hold your public officials accountable well you first of all you've got to be informed on the type of government uh position that public officials are should uh are in and at the second time you have to follow them uh just like a radio station i think your radio station and your your station provide enormous uh, education and informative to what's going around government. We need to tune in and listen. We need to read more and uh, and see uh, uh, what they do. Uh, you know, I, I I do it all the time. Uh, I, I I suggest uh, suggest what I what I do sometimes is uh, I I listen to what people are saying about me and I learn from those experiences. Uh, at the same time, uh, I think we're all in this together. Uh, I think we can all make this work. I think government has to get back to uh, being much more conservative in its uh, deliverance of, of funds to the states and to uh, to the people. I think we have gotten folks to believe that they are entitled to federal dollars or state dollars or city dollars when it's incumbent on them uh, to do some things for themselves first. Well, exactly. That That is a trap that we have fallen into, and unfortunately it seems to be working uh, for its intended purpose of getting well, people dependent on that. Well, not in Vicksburg. We believe any government that's big enough to give is big enough to take back. That is a very good point. And, and sooner or later for these kind of things, and that's the one thing that a lot of people don't understand when they go, oh, I want, I want more money, I want another check, I want this, I want that. Uh, the bill comes to you. Sooner or later, that bill comes due, and it is a bill. Absolutely. You're going to pay now or later. Nothing is free from government. You're going to either pay it by raising taxes or you're going to pay it by uh, some means. Uh, we've been uh, fortunate over here. Uh, my, in my eight year going nine year, I hadn't had to raise taxes and uh, don't intend to. Uh, but we operate on the means of what we have. And we create innovative ways of spending. And at the same time, we consolidate when necessary.